Hey guys, welcome back to my second episode on how to deal with stress. I'm going to have a guest today, Jacqueline Mazza, who is a Brookdale Community College student, and she's going to come in and talk about how she has a way or two on how she deals with stress and what she does to cope with stress. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, how to deal with it and what we can do to make it stop. So I have a couple activities, I have a couple sources, and I'm going to get this stuff going. You know, it's it's not fun to be stressful. We don't like that, especially college students during finals. You know, we're just busy. We're already stressed out enough. We don't need any more. So I'm going to give you guys some cool ways, some fun activities, and let's so, do this, guys. How do we cope with stress? And I actually found this really cool source. It's from rasmussen.edu. And this source gave me seven ways to suppress stress in your life. And this also includes college students. So the first one is get moving. So staying active, exercising, um, those will keep your mind off the stress because you're just so active and busy that you won't really think about it. The second one was catch some Z's. We know what that means. So taking naps, having at least eight hours of sleep, definitely help with stress. The third one was meditation and mindfulness. So I'm guessing taking a yoga class can help with stress and that makes sense because I know a couple people from school, from my own opinion, they take yoga classes and they never seem stressed out. They always seem relaxed. Number four, the power of coloring. Get a coloring book, keep your mind off everything. Simple stuff. And five, Six and seven, so surround yourself with loved ones, which is basically just be with people that are positive and put on some music. What else is, what, what can be better than just listening to music and relaxing, taking your time, not thinking too hard. Just put some melodic music that just keeps your mind busy. It's simple things like that that can really help with stress. Now, I also found something else. So according to the Washington Times, pets, yes, pets, pets like these beautiful creatures like this, who could just open up your, your heart and just make you forget everything. If it wasn't for this guy right here, I feel like I'd be stressed so much more. But pets have been the new way to keep our mind off things. So what colleges have been doing, for instance, Seton Hall has done it. Pittsburgh has done it. There's so many schools that this, this source names. I I think we've done it at our school as well. I've, I, I recall, I think there was a couple dogs that came to our library. And the dogs are, are just a way to connect with the students who are just tired, stressed out, and maybe just a little homesick. So during the finals, just having a dog just cuddling up next to you just immediately erases that stress. It's just It's just beautiful. So those are just two things. And now my guest, Jacqueline Mazza, is gonna come on and talk about things that she does to help cope with stress. So guys, just, just from these two episodes alone, stress is just something you don't wanna have. Why, why I wanna wake up every morning and just be stressed? Why do you wanna have so many things on your mind that you don't need to have on your mind? Try taking some of the tips I've given you guys. You know, maybe, Get a pet, you know, maybe you need a pet. You, maybe you just need that little love and, and attention from those animals. My dog is just giving me so much love when I've needed him and I went from 100% stress to zero in seconds. And take some of those other tips. Maybe you need to go sign up at a gym. Maybe you need to take yoga. Maybe you just, you just need little things to just keep your mind occupied. You don't wanna have 10 million negative thoughts on your head. We're young. Live, guys. Thank you for all my guests. Thank you for all my fans listening. I hope I inspired you guys maybe just to relax a little bit. And thank you.